Hello guys, my name is Esa Tiger and welcome to episode 14 of Green Project. How are you doing guys today? I hope you enjoyed my secret from last episode. And today I'm going to show you another secret. <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, let's pick up the square. I just cooked square and just pay attention to that tiny little secret okay see if I move over that square it will say it will decay in four days right okay so now let's go to the I have other squares and it's gonna say it will decay in two days and the secret is if I move these four squares from my storage to my inventory they will the counter is going to reset and they will not decay after two days. They will going to be same as this one. So that means you're going to decay after four days. Take a look at that. Double click. And we have now six squares. And if you move over the mouse, it will say it will decay in four days. That means you can do with every single foot. So if the foot, let's say the onion is like, will decay in one day or two days or five days then if you plant new onion and in harvest from your crops and new onion usually decays after 20 days and if you combine that onion with the new one then you will set the counter in the old one or you have 20 days that's the secret do you like it <laughs> all right the first thing what we're gonna do now we're finally gonna upgrade our backpack to extra large see because we right now we have this one backpack just regular one and this looks xxl backpack so let's see what we need it's gonna give us extra tourist space better than a 4.11 backpack <laughs> okay so of course we need the backpack and we need 20 lizard leather and 10 cloth that's no problem I do have 18 cloves, so that's fine. And I was killing lizards, so I got 21 letters. So I should have enough. The only thing, I, I have to take the backpack. So everything's gonna fall down if I unequip. Yes, it's gonna go on the floor. All right. Okay, let's put our backpack, let's put the cloth, and that's upgrade our backpack. It's gonna take three hours. And as you notice, purple mushroom strikes. So let's see where. Okay, so let's put back our backpack. So we have extra tourist spaces. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look how much space I have right now. Excellent. So we now all prepared. We have plenty of space. We don't have to worry about too many items actually you will have to worry because that's always will be not enough space trust me even with that much space you're still gonna like struggle with the space <laughs> all right so i'll just move this stuff around we don't need that actually this is a kind of tool now all right all right so let's uh but before we're gonna do this also, I forgot, I want to also upgrade my pickaxe, since the pickaxe is the tier first, tier one. So at least I want to upgrade to tier two. And anyway, it's almost broken, there's only two users left. So since it's required just ferret and clay soil, tier three required iron and clay. So we can just easy repair to tier two. And do I am missing something? I believe so. I'm missing... Where's tier one? Yeah, planks. So we need the planks also. And we have a tier two pickaxe. Just takes 30 minutes. Excellent. All right, let's hunt for that purple mushroom. Because I guess it should be somewhere. That was unexpected. I didn't expect to put for the purple mushroom to hit during the recording session, but that's okay. So let's grab our compost. So I've been doing lately lots of compost because I was planting so many trees. And you know the reason 
Why I planted so many trees? Because I want uh, to upgrade my tree of life. Yes, tier one. So I need just one more green factor, which I had already, but the purple mushroom did all screw up whole thing. So now let's walk around. Where is it? Uh, that was uh, real lucky. Very quick and by the way, like I said in the last episode, the reason I have two iron trees because like every time when the purple mushroom strikes any tree, it happens some it same it happens same thing like when you chop the tree. And this is the same way like the purple mushroom strikes. See everything just being like harvested. And if you leave it this alone, the stuff will despawn. So that's fine if the heat just simple tree, I mean, tree like we don't care that much, so that's fine. But <laughs> let me just plant this real quick. We can leave that alone for now. But if heat one of the our trees, like we need something, let's say I need this stuff, aloe vera. And because I want to make more flower trees. And if the purple mushroom strike this one, so this thing is going to be lying on the floor. And of course you can collect that and you have to kill the purple mushroom and you have to start over again with that stuff. So that means <laughs> that could be so bad. Especially if I need that stuff and I'm just going to be, I forget about that and I will despawn and it's not good. It's not good. Trust me. It's not good. What are you doing here? Beetle? What are you doing here? Not supposed to be over here. Alright. So now we need... Still I need two points for the green factor. And I do have one extra separate seed so we can plant somewhere. But what do I want to do today? I want to visit one of the new houses. I mean, not the new houses, the house on the right side so that's where we're gonna go over there okay. all right we're getting closer to the new house I should say other house and we already got the entrance so I can go go through it uh, check the mail nothing in the mail check the trash can nothing in the trash can of course so let's uh, put our light and let's see what's inside the house mm, empty just empty what about the desk oh we got the recipe chemical blessing recipe so we can learn that recipe added excellent wait a minute is there something on the floor oh no All right so let's go to Okay, this, this must be a bathroom. A tree grows inside the bathroom. Very interesting. Nothing here. And. Okay, we got the bed. We got the another crafting. Ah, I forgot my pliers. I wonder if I could be able to take the bookshelves I should go back to get my pliers okay nothing here there's one extra wood we can steal let's go to this side let's see what we're gonna find oh there's another door uh, this is like kind of empty room. This is like inside the cave. Oh, there's a skelly on the floor. Must be the owner. And got, we got another two recipes. Ratus galin stew. <laughs> and the other one is Ratus galin egg. 
Uh, special animals, and we have oh, we have three more recipes. So let's learn them all of them. Butchers, ratus, everything is the special animals. And we got more recipes. Pigus slimus, another one. Another cook slimus, dead pigus slimus, pigus, everything about the pig. Ah, I should, what do we have over here? Nothing. I should take that stuff. You know what? Uh, let me go back for the pliers and we'll see if we can, I uh, can take that stuff and also see if I can take uh, bookshelves. All right, I'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, I got the pliers. So let's put back in our hand. So let's take, oh, wait a minute, I can take this la lap, what about this? What about the lamp? Okay, I can take this storage. Did I check this guy? No, I did not check. Can I take the table? No. Hmm, so not everything you can take. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to take the bookshelves too. No. I wish I could take it. Maybe next episode we're going to be able to do it. I know I can take this, my uh, another table. And I can take the bed. And what else I can take? Let's see, let's see if I can take the drawer. No. What about the desk? No. Alright. I tried. Oh, wait a minute. What about... <laughs> uh. Toilet? No. Sink? No. So we got some furnitures from the other house and we looted we got some extra new recipes and this is about new type of animals but all right so we are back and uh, I do have a cap on my head but look what was gonna happen if I try to put firefly headlamp see so it switched the spaces with the cap and every time when you remove the cap you're gonna miss one extra space so let's say if i leave squares on that spot last one and we're gonna use the headlights for lamp see that space is gone and the squares is on the f on the ground so pay attention every time when you want to sweat swap it headlight headlamp with your cap Make sure that space is free unless you have some like not used stuff in that spot. Because if you let's say we put the time and when you change it, and you're gonna just walk around and then your radiation is gonna hit and you wanna drink the time. Oh, where's my time? Where's my time? I lost it. Now look at this, the time is right over there, right on the ground. So that's my uh, su suggestion. Just you can put uh, you can leave that spot empty, or you just put any crappy stuff in that. Like you don't worry about losing that stuff in that one single spot. Okay. So let's see. Since I got some aloe vera, I can make. I believe there was mutagenic mushrooms. I can make more flea trial, flower trees. And I need the water. I'm gonna borrow water from over there. Okay, let's put the water and we can make uh, how many flower trees we can make? Flower tree seeds? Oh, I can make all of them. So that means I need just one. Chemistry, yeah, I just need 
One aloe vera and one mutagenic mushroom. Okay, it sounds good. And that's it. You're not gonna spot this... Uh, um, what do you call it? Inert flower tree seed anymore in the map. So I'm gonna plant one more over here. Just let's clear this space. From the dried grass. And let's put the compost and let's put one more flower. Okay, good. Beautiful. And we're gonna put one more over here. Close the purple bubbles. So we're gonna get rid of purple bu bubbles at the same time. And there's a one more flower tree. That's a good spot. Okay, compost and one more flower tree. Sit. Good. Okay. And there's one more thing I would like to do today. And I want to move some stuff around in, in, my, in my house because you see, I don't like this layout. Because when I put something in these machines, this one, this machine, we're going to drop this stuff over here. But the other one, this stuff is hidden between this, between these two machines. And I have a hard time to pick it up. So I decided to move stuff, some stuff around. Of course, I will gonna show, tell you this. I mean, I can move all the stuff around except this thing, this cabinet. I cannot move it. There's no way you can move it. The same like with the bookshelves. There's no way to move it. All right, so let me move all the stuff around, and I see you then. All right, guys, I'm back. I moved the stuff around, and I like it. That's much better, that was before, and I have easy access to my stuff. See, there's a toolbox on the left side, that's my storage. That's another storage, right now it's a smaller one. It will be probably bigger. I might also move this little chest somewhere over here in this spot. And I have also a spot for one extra ore extractor. And of course this spot is gonna be for another kitchen. And we also, since we have that new jar cup, I'm gonna put it over here and the reason this one will store our new type of food preserves which we're gonna do most likely tomato preserves because we have tomatoes we have a uh, time so we can do that and we can make a jars so that's that will be another enhanced kitchen in this spot all right so let's move to final part of this episode which is uh, upgrading our tree of life to tier one so what we have to do we have to just take our sedge and time since we have 159 green points green factor and this factor is 150 so what we have to do just donate 99 time and we gotta donate sedge first 150 one stack then so let's do one more stack. Great, I can feel the environment getting wet. Uh, and I will use less water for watering. Okay, so that means our trees got the tier one. So we can jump to now tier two. And tier two requires 350 green factor points. And we need 99 rats, dead rats, 99 dead chickens and 50 dead pigs. <sighs> it's gonna take a while <laughs> all right thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time bye bye take care